Welcome back to Stock Labs for another market recap. We just finished the first full trading week of September on the 9th, and it was a pretty good week for markets overall. Uh, coming in, we were sort of looking for a little bit of a bottom to get put in, um, and then somewhat of an up move to start heading into the Fed meeting later this month, and it did come in a little sooner than expected. I think we started basically going up right after Monday into straight into the end of the week and sort of produced a, you know, more or less strong week for the indices overall, which was good. So overall picture was good, higher by end of the week. Qs were up 4%, same exact up move for IWM up 4%, S&P up 3.7, and the Dow up 2.7. Uh, bonds actually pretty weak. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of a change in behavior. Whenever bonds have been weak, the NASDAQ especially has been weak, but kind of just ignored the bond market um, this past week. And yeah, it seemed like a pretty good, pretty good squeeze developed. Um, as for our leadership stocks they also sort of just followed the general market trend tesla had a pretty good week up double digits 11 percent uh even facebook up 5.6 percent i mean facebook has been sort of camped out near 52 week lows for most of the summer uh came up off that bottom a little bit this this week nvidia horrible week um the week prior but sort of got back some of those losses this past week, although not all of them. And uh, Apple, surprisingly, was underperformer up 1%. I mean, they had their uh, conference or product reveal or whatever they call it uh, these days, um, you know, more or less a flat week, up 1% for them. Um, Breadth-wise, on an industry basis, as you can imagine with the indices being pretty strong, it was also pretty good. Um, we had services and healthcare leading, industrials pretty good, tech was okay. I mean, it was up, but kind of I'm a little suspicious when the median tech stock is, you know, making smaller gains or underperforming the overall NASDAQ that tends to mean that the rally's not as strong as maybe the headline indices indicate. But nevertheless, pretty good week overall. Even basic materials, you know, we're up 2%, even though the oil trade has completely fallen apart at this point. Um, Subsectors that led, uh, okay, this is the first time SaaS has been, app software has been sort of in the top 10. So that's a definite change in behavior um, and the rest a lot of them skewed towards sort of like uh, you know just real economy you know like diverse you know there's a diverse set of subsectors here uh, leading even gold was you know sort of on this first page of leadership uh, subsector so we've got a uh, 25 Six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one, two, thirty-three, thirty-four, like thirty-four, thirty-five sectors up five percent, which doesn't quite negate the uh, the down week we had before this, which I think was somewhere up around like sixty or sixty-five subsectors down. So it was a good bounce, but maybe not as forceful as uh, as we thought. Um, as we thought, just looking at the the headline numbers. Um, oh, let me see what was on the downside. Probably not that much. Yeah, barely anything trading, uh, you know, leading to the downside. You know, a couple of these oil and gas sectors were flat-ish, Chinese stocks flat-ish, but the rest, you know, a broad, a pretty broad rally overall. So that's uh, that's pretty encouraging for for bulls um breadth on a market cap basis so one to five billion market cap was plus 4.7 percent five to ten billion the same 4.8 percent to the upside 10 to 50 billion four and a half percent 
and 50 to 100 billion, 3.9 percent. All of these are kind of in line with their respective indices. Terror caps up 3.2 percent. So, yeah, pretty broad rally on a uh, uh, market cap basis and industry basis. So, you know, we had a you know, a solid move, a solid up week in the markets, you know, by all metrics. It wasn't kind of like a a, a weak bounce uh, too much, at least just looking at sort of these, uh, these metrics. Um, intelligence for the coming week, not that much on here. So we've got gold miners, oil and gas, and inverse... Bitcoin, which, okay, I mean, this screen is not as populated as has been in the last couple of weeks. Sort of looks like it did for most of the year. And on the downside, we have, okay, sh let's do this. Okay, VIX should move to the downside this week, which would be bullish overall for the market. Um, Copper, short Russell is bearish. Cloud computing is bearish. Uh, but the NASDAQ is bullish. It's bear ETF rated bearish. ARC is bearish. Okay, so a lot of some of these are a little bit uh a little bit conflicting. Okay, cloud computing again bearish. So we got two cloud computing and ARC are bearish, but the NASDAQ will be kind of bullish. The big oil inverse is bearish. So bullish oil matches up with the other side of the screen. And Brazil, short Brazil is bearish. So bullish Brazil, if anyone trades Brazil, which I don't think many people do. Um, we are very close to a hybrid overbought signal on the market. You can see we've had several of these uh, over the course of this year, and we've kind of sold off pretty significantly on each one. Um, at least I'd be looking for an up move at this, for, you know, for the first half of the week, basically, at least. Um, it is kind of I'm not going to say a make or break week, but it is kind of an important week given, um, you know, the market has come pretty significantly off its lows and um, we do have the Fed coming up later in the month. You know, the fund managers are all back from the back from the Hamptons and Nantucket and all these places. So, you know, this is this is the real trading going on now for the rest of the year. Now, if this is the start of an end of year rally. I'm not quite convinced yet, but um, it's definitely a good start. So I think we're going to see some extension higher into the, uh, you know, the first few days of the week at least. And then whether we pull back immediately from there or we start to do some consolidation um, that remains to be seen, but at least, you know, Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, I think we should be trading higher. Um, and then by the end of the week, probably overall, it'll mostly be a, uh, you know, a marginally up week, uh, that will sort of set up for, um, for the fed week coming up later in the month. Um, but yeah, good week overall for the market. Um, you know, like we said in the prior recap, we were sort of looking for a swing low to get put in seems to have, seems to have happened. So, um, it's just a matter of managing sort of the the daily swings at this point to see uh, to see how high we're going to push this leg. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, we'll check back with you next week. Good luck trading out there. Have fun, and uh, talk to you later.